Found him. Brace yourself, mister. You're about to get an earful. J.D. style. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Uh, g- g- give me a minute, will you? No, Kevin. I have to talk to you right now. Damn it! Later's cool, too. I'm sorry, I just... I... Look, I spent the last few days meeting new people and trying to get used to this place, and I'm stressed and I'm fried. And I just want to go home. But here's the punchline. Even though my last surgery was two hours ago, I can't stop washing my damn hands. Ah! I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, this is a weak moment. Nobody's supposed to see this. And uh, mark my words, I'll clean up the soap. Probably several thousand times. Everyone's got their own burden, Sadie. And I'm not gonna be one of those people that dumps mine on somebody else. Now, what do you need? None of us needed anything. With the good ones on my shoulder, I drove the other ones away. I think owning your burdens is half the battle. The Turk knows that he'll eventually have to decide what his priorities really are. Baby, come to bed. And Dr. Cox knows he has to find something else to hang his hat on. You, my friend, are going to be the best baseball player in the world, which will make me the best baseball player in the world's father. Ah, Can't you hear it, Jack? Can't you hear it? Still, it's not that daunting if you look around and see what other people have to deal with. Good night, Dr. Casey. Good night, J.D. Not love.